Yeah, I did that shit. Yeah, I did. What's the problem? Look alive. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's happening? It's K. I'm back in there, fam. Hey, what's up? What's happening? Hey, K. Show good. He sleep with a cut up return. I want to tune. We back in here. We back in here. Good on my shot. Like, and how's y'all been? How's y'all day? Put it in the comments. Tell me how's it going. How's it been? I'm conversate with y'all, man. Hey, man. I'm conversate with y'all a little bit. You heard me? Hey. No, like, subscribe. If you new, like, subscribe. Check your boy out. Help your boy grow. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's generic YouTube stuff. You know, help a nigga. I'll help a nigga flow. Aye. Anyways, we back in here. Block boy JB. If you needed any context to the reason why I was doing the, the shoot dance in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? By the way, look a lot. But yeah. We back in here. He on the clock. We trying to see if his career is over and done with. Now, Black Boy JB, he had some shit. Like I said, he had the shoot dance, which is Rover. Or he had the song Rover and he had the shoot dance. The dance was fire. Everybody was trying to do that dance. And, you know, Drake hopped on the song Look Alive and that shit was busting. And it really blew him up to the point he made it on the XXL 2018 list. You know what I'm saying? So we had a discussion about it. Now, within that time, he has dropped a couple albums. He's dropped more. I know he has dropped the mini tapes. He has Don't Think That, the 2018 EP, the Purple Eminem tape, which was 2017. Who I Am, no, Who Am I 3, 2017. I Am Me, 2019. Semi, 2018. That was the first tape I ever listened to him from. I don't know if it was a mixtape or whatever, but I listened to him. I think that's his homeboy that passed. And he got Fat Boy, which he dropped recently in 2020. I can't. I know it was in the later months, maybe October, maybe September, or mi early November. But yeah, besides that, like first week. Besides that, nah, he hasn't dropped anything. Fat. Oh, I was about to call him Fat. But Black Boy is a cautionary tale. You know, you know Memphis. He got that song. He got that twang. You know, him and Emily Chopper hooked up. They did a couple songs together. Now, this is the difference between I would say Black Boy. Black Boy always keep on. I'll say he always got a song that sound good and decent for my ears though. And, and motherfuckers be rocking with it and it's cool. I feel like that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it was the semi project. There was one project that, you know, it, it was decent. But maybe that was like my first time hearing him. So I was like, oh yeah, this shit good. Yeah, but anytime him and NLE Chopper do like NLE block or whatever the fuck they do, like that shit always go hard. So that's, that's, a, that's a testament to them. Now, as for... This thing now, a lot of people are like, oh, one hit wonder, da, da 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 He's doing his thing now. I feel like when he was put on that double uh double XL list, and I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but like I feel like it was pre. Okay, I'm basically about to say, bro, it was pre ejaculation. I'm gonna give it a buck. You but he busted his load too early. And I'm not trying to say he's not talented, but I feel like y'all motherfuckers just seen the Drake co-sign and y'all just jumped and put him on the list without him actually being 100% tested. Because it's stupid, right? And I get, bro, I, yeah, y'all probably look at me like, you hate double X. So it's not that. But the reasoning they gave that little baby at the time could not make the list because he didn't have the Drake feature at that time. And it's like, bruh, freestyle was hard. That's my dog was hard. He was killing some of these features. The song with him gonna thug oh okay on what drip season three. That shit was hot. Like y'all just making excuses why you didn't put this nigga on the list. And it's stupid that a bigger artist has to come and do a song with somebody be like, oh, okay, yeah, now they can come on the list. You know, Drake fucks, you know, you know, cause Drake fucks in the moment. Like what the fuck is that? Kodak never did a song with Drake, but Drake was sitting there dancing to the music. You know what I'm saying? I think Drake just has to like your shit. Like, it's so dumb. Like, anyways. Shout out Drake, though. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. Like, he's very popular and shit. And he can, I guess, make a nigga, make people pay attention to a person. But still, Jay-Z and Beyonce could do that shit, too. And, and I ain't here for that. But anyways. Yeah, I feel like they just put him on too quick. And I'm not saying the music's bad or anything. But, like, it's like, it, it ain't hitting the same as before. And I feel like Look Alive just took that shit because it was playing everywhere. Everybody was fucking with it. But it was whatever at that point. After that, I don't think like he had a song that 
captured that impact again. Of course, we talk about Drake. Drake just be shang sunging niggas and hopping on everything. But this is the thing though. Now like, he hasn't had that song besides maybe Rover and the shoot dance. Like that really helped him pick back up. So he's just been quiet, motherfuckers have just been listening to the shit. Eh. Whatever. Mm. You know, and just keep going and going and going. And it's not bad music in my sense, but I remember listening to the recent tape, Fat Boy. I was just like, eh, eh. didn't really care. Yeah, I mean, production good. I was like, yeah, well, whatever. Like, so I don't know. Maybe he has to remarket himself or just, yeah, just, I don't know. I really don't know what Block Boy has to do with him, but that's why I got to access his career over to me, I feel like out of all the people I've talked to, I feel like he can come back quicker than the rest of them. Because some motherfuckers just took a hiatus from music. He be dropping, but I don't know it's not hitting. I think it's more of maybe marketing. He just has to catch a big one again, in my opinion. That's just me. No motherfuckers going to fuck with you. I feel like that's the, the thing with certain people, right? But like... Yeah, that tape just didn't do anything for me. I can't really say anything. I'm not saying he's a bad artist at all, but I don't think he hits for me. I think he's comfortable in his style, and I'm not saying experiment and just go with pop, but like I feel like he has to switch it up a little bit and try some other type of beats. Cause uh, he, I remember in that interview with On Everyday Struggle, he was like, "Nah, I like shit that I could dance to," and that's cool. I'm not saying you can't, but nigga, I could dance to what's it called? Hit him up, and that's a diss record. Who shot you? I could bop my head and move back and forth, give him a little two stick. And that's a diss record. So you can't just be like, oh, this beat after hearing, I have to dance to it and I'm going to start making. No. You got to bring that ish out, bro. You can't just be like, I'm going to dance this shit. You go on this shit and turn it into whatever you want. Turn that into your music. Turn that into your dance music. And I, he look like a dude that likes to have fun, but when you talk about. Sticks and shit, like you might clap a nigga, like hey, but like you know what I'm saying. But no, he seems like a jolly old fellow, a good dude, a black Saint Nick, if you will. But yeah, that's what I think he needs to do. I think he needs to get up outside of his own head and just try some new shit. You know what I'm saying? You can still do your own shit you're comfortable in, but just throw a new, new couple of things on there, and and that's the thing, right? And that's what I feel would be good for him. But it is what it is. I personally think he can come back because he's dropping consistently, right? And it doesn't sound bad. I'm just not feeling it. So out of all the people I've talked about to this point, I feel like he can come back. You know what I'm saying? He just needs to catch one. And he can, well, honestly, everybody just needs to catch one. But with him, I just feel like he needs to catch one again. Maybe switch up a couple styles here again. Work with some other artists. Maybe not draw out the song too long. Not make the beat selection similar and he could be good yeah but it's not like guys and shit yeah but i don't know i'm done i'm done bro i don't know maybe he could pick it back up you know he could come back like i said he's dropping shit i'm not cool who knows maybe go to memphis that's all he's playing it could be like some atlanta artists that we don't know if they could be super hot in the city but we don't know who the hell it is yet so who knows bro at the end of the day but he's doing this thing he's coming up hey you know what it is plus you gotta give dude respect because hey Fortnite be stealing everybody's names he's like oh hell no you ain't taking my shit you gonna have to squabble over there and fight by the way how is soldier boys dance not in the game yet and they got everything else that's crazy Maybe actually they're copyrighted. But anyway, man. I'm off of this thing. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think? Put that shit in the comments. Like, subscribe, share with your homie. Do all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Help your boy. I'll help your boy grow. We in this thing, man. Aye. Right. Slime, zoom, peace, y'all. Else. Guy. Okay. Aye. Right.